So this is uh, actually a familiar location, one that I like a lot. I used for Ralphie's Blue as well as uh, Chow John Crowther when I was kind of, you know, explaining my connection to John. Tribute to my mentor, John Crowther, screenwriter, actor, uh, many other race car driver. You know, many things. You know, super talented guy, director, teacher. Um, right. Plopper, what do you think? Things working against it, obviously the time. 18 minutes is tough, you know. Anything over 10 minutes for a short is always, always a little bit difficult. Just that, but also kind of the one-man show aspect, you know, that's kind of the conceit. The problem is, you know, it is a single tribute. I'm in it with a whole lot of stock footage, thanks to uh, Carla Romanelli, his wife, and a widow, I should say, and, uh, you know, the reason I did it that way is because he was kind of the master of the one-man show, you know, between Einstein and uh, Einstein as well as uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. You know, that was his thing, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of do a one-man show about John Crowther. Much more importantly, just who he connected with and intersected, and, and, and you know, kind of like six degrees of John Crowther from, you know, Bruce Paltrow to... Lucino Visconti to Fellini to, you know, Chuck Norris, <laughs> Charles Bronson. I mean, you know, hmm. to me that's endlessly fascinating. You know, when he's shooting his film in Cinecetta, you know, um, his pal Bruce Paltrow, you know, is kind of visiting him. You know, it's like John kind of made it first. On know? one stage right next to him is Fellini. Uh, shooting, I forget what it is, something, send in the clown, something, I don't know, it's a follow-up to Satyricon. On the other stage is Lucino Visconti shooting at Death in Venice, which is, you know, one of the top 150 films ever made, sight and sound, you know. And it's unbelievable, but, you know, the problem is, it's like, who gives a shit about Fellini and Visconti and these other great filmmakers that he intersected with you know I mean it's like people barely remember who Charles Bronson or Chuck Norris are and so you know kind of an atrophied you know interest or engagement with you know classical foreign cinema you know subtitles I mean it's just you know a lot of young filmmakers who have are really not at all familiar with, you know, you go down the top 100 films of all time, you know, whatever, Sight and Sound, you know, you know it's like Ozu, <laughs> who, you know, Chantal Ackerman, you know, moved up to number one or whatever. And, you know, it's like you know, a lot of young people have never even heard of these, you know, filmmakers or films, let alone seen them, you know. And so to me, that's what makes Chow John Crowther so pertinent. Just trying to get that attention. I'm going to put it out, you know, but I wanted to. I think that it would do well in Europe. There's a few, even though it's just a short, there's a few distributors in Europe um, who've shown some interest. So I'm just holding off on just throwing it out there on YouTube or whatever. But, you know, if you got nothing to do, you're in Hollywood, you're in L.A., check out, you know, Chow John Crowther. It's 2 p.m. at the Chinese Theater. February 29th, it's a Thursday.